Hey guys, it's Balloon. We're up to season three, episode four, Bones. Here we go. Together, a little closer. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. Now keeping your back straight, I want you each to lean forward. What is happening? No, we agreed to see another therapist, not be action figures for a 12 year old. <laughs> I don't care how young you are. I've never believed in psychotherapy. Mm. <laughs> Agent Booth, Dr. Brennan, the FBI is considering severing your partnership. What? What? Why? Dude, you arrested her father. Maybe you need to go night light at night to stay. Agent Booth, you've been trying to intimidate me since the moment you stepped in here. You've succeeded. Don't. <laughs> now, I need you both to uh, fill out these Dude, questions. Dude, literally looks like he's in high school. And get them back to me. So, I suggest that we work in cooperation. Rather than conflict, I can cooperate. I'm still gonna call you sweets. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe you gave us homework. Probably is. I can't work. Probably is. Oh, that's my fault. I told him I wasn't available during. Oh, well, there's only one thing more fun than uh, therapy on a Saturday night. Body. That's a dead body. Huh? Use your imagination. Teenager hormone. You're saying they're here to fornicate. Yes, nice image. Very, uh, biblical. <laughs> These two were on their way to a romantic encounter under the stars and literally tripped over the remains. Whoa. This love with decom pushes things in the earth territory. Oh. I haven't touched it yet. Come to top bail. We'll roll down. Would explain the amount of fresh mud and leaves on the body. He hasn't been dead as long as he looks. Ew. The body is still radiating a lot of heat. Well, you're not kidding. We used to use the local golf course. She had long hair all the way back. To you me. are so gonna regret telling this story. Okay, <laughs> now what do you got? No way, did he just like die? 127 degrees. What? You're saying that before the body was dumped, it was cooked. 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 Ooh. Could that be a tie in to the first episode? <laughs> cooked the body. Here to suggest cannibalism. No bite marks. So no condiments. I ended up feasting on a computer engineer. That's extremely disturbing. Well, hello, my exotic princess. What a charmingly inappropriate greeting, Doctor Hodgins. I think he's talking to a bug. Well, now I feel a bit rejected. It's like something from the <laughs> Mitsudula Day family. Where did you come from, you gorgeous creature? Do you have any friends? Well, you meant to like ice cream on a hot summer day. I'm finding a large concentration of bristle tails and harvester. Oh. We're not supposed to discuss our answers. Come on, Bones. The teacher's not in the room. Let me see. Is this how you go through school, Booth? <laughs> no, well, maybe algebra, but okay. Hey, Booth, I got your ID. Franklin Curtis, age 54. His oh. wife, Margie, reported him missing yesterday. Oh, no. that was the county. He was rich. Yeah. Damn. The founder of the Natural Sun Organic Supermarket chain. So within like a- Near my apartment. Excellent selection of local produce. Totally overpriced. Couple days. Carrot is a carrot. Yeah, it's worth it. Guy started off with a single roadside produce stand, which he grew into a nationwide supermarket chain. An organic oh, wow. capitalist. Yeah. They're covered with chloral pickering. Why the pinchy face bone? <laughs> Franklin Curtis built his whole career on organic produce and chlorpicrin. It's a pesticide. Mmm. I was at a yoga retreat with my daughter, Ignatia Amar. What? It's a homeopathic remedy for grief. Your husband, was he having any personal problems? No recent arguments? No. Everybody loved Frank. Oh. Mm -hmm. Your dad was a wonderful My man. dad was kind of obsessed. He'd pressure conventional farmers to go organic. Pressure makes it sound so... He was an extremely <laughs> generous man. What if a farmer didn't want to switch? Dad would turn things over to his lawyers. They'd find some legal loophole. Property taxes, so I mean, who knows? Ooh, yeah, that could piss people off. And he'd force people off their land. Oh, that'll so piss people off. Oh my god. You can tell that son of a bitch that the only crop that will ever grow on this land is tobacco. <laughs> crap how many suits he sends over here. I wish I could muster up some remorse. Wow. <laughs> the love lost between Damn. the two of you, see? The man is I mean trying the, to kick the, me the, off of my own. Life. Yeah, he's trying to kick me off. My family's been I on this farm that. for over 150 years. Yeah, I get Tobacco that. Tobacco built this country. <laughs> 
Oh, I wonder if he okay, was. Then, I wonder if he was burned alive. Give me one last chance before he started Maybe playing not. dirty. To saying the guy at a point in pesticides I get is so it. bad for us, then how come people live longer now than they did before they used pesticides? You're oversimplifying an enormously <laughs> complex issue. Uh, <laughs> you don't have a good answer. You know what? You're not going to see me paying four dollars for a tomato. That's that. That's a different problem. You no, know, alligators who swim in pesticide-contaminated waters have smaller genitalia than their than water counterparts. Oh. Wait. See? <laughs> right there. There's some kind of pattern on what's left of the skin tissue. Regular circular shapes, cross hatching. I'd say button marks. Like buttons from the victim's shirt were pressed into his flesh while he decomposed. Yes, that's exactly what they are. Our victim's clothing doesn't have any buttons. And this whole environmental footprint thing, right? I mean, why shouldn't I leave a footprint? I'm here, right? Curing at tobacco farms is done in curing barns using indirect fired burners. Oh, so if Frank's body were in Harding's curing barn, that would explain how it got cooked. Oh. Ah. That should be enough to get a warrant to search the farm. Should be. The second corpse's tissue basically melted onto our victim. So there's another. Thanks. Oh, I got big news from the nerd posse. Well, when we search the tobacco farm, we'll be looking for more than the murders. There's another we'll be body. We're looking for the second victim. That's. That's really interesting. I'm making lemonade. Lemonade. It's awful hot today. <laughs> it's an intrusion. This is a bit like a garden party. <laughs> hey, ma'am. This is the party. Pleasure to meet you. Don't mind Mr. Grouchy. Did you know Mr. Curtis personally? Oh, of course. Although <laughs> maybe not as personally as he might have liked. <clears throat> Looks aren't everything. Mr. Curtis was a big flirt, always making passes at me. It didn't seem relevant. And right under his poor wife's nose, uh, too. kind of seems oh, relevant. He could get me to convince Andy to sell the farm. I don't think I have ever seen him so mad. What a temper you have. Oh, God. Sorry, you have been very helpful. He doesn't think I can do anything right. So, how many lemonades? Oh, how many lemonades? <laughs> <laughs> That's put solar panels in my house. Housing. Solar panel? Solar panels. I love the idea of solar feet. panels. They just don't last. They're just not. Might not be they're not worth it. Why is it only about function? Are allowed to enjoy ourselves occasionally. King of the lab. It's an agricultural pest. Found on pineapple plants. Agent Booth. There's nothing. The curing shed is clean. But so, the closest place they're grown commercially is Florida. You're saying that the body was moved from Florida? I don't have an explanation. I'm just That's, giving you the facts. Isn't that a long I distance? I found this article mentions this farmer in Virginia who is trying to grow tropical crops in a hothouse. Like pineapples. Like pineapples. Yeah, they're in Virginia. Bro. Thanks. Sorry to hear about Frank. He's a good man. Big supporter of what I'm trying to do here. Great, Mr. Page. Please call me Lyndon. You ever eat a pineapple the same day it was picked, Agent Booth? Actually, no. I didn't make you eat a smoothie. That's <laughs> nah, okay. I love them. Frank Curtis, ever visit your hot house? Oh, God, dude. Stay fit and save energy. Everyone should do it. I'm sure it'll catch on. So, you and Frank, do you have any problems? There's just so oh, much better ways. <laughs> Probably helped that I didn't have a wife. Why not wind? Solar. Frank Curtis's wife stood to gain the most from her husband's death. She found out that he was cheating. But he said her alibi is solid. Well, that doesn't mean we can't, you know, double check. A scrawny kid like that sees I've me never coming seen a former jock, and he's thinking to himself, Lights. time for a little payback, you know? Make him fill out they only the grow one? They all have one. Away from me. These tubs are too small to fit anything. We're not going to find the second victim here. <laughs> Smell. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, see, why don't girls just admit it? He who smelt it dealt it. How do you even know that, Frank? That's gotta be a body. Sorry about that smell. Community composting facilities about a mile away, but when the winds blow westerly, it smells like it's around the corner. Do you take agricultural He's hiding something. Facility? Could that not be a body? Hey, 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 do you have any uh, to-go cups? The road to the apocalypse is paved with disposable food containers, my friend. Compost, of course. <laughs> the identifying organisms would have started dying as soon as the body was removed from the heat. 
ties 170 degrees. Oh. That's hot enough for cooking. Yeah, pie. that'll do and it. And if Lyndon contributes his waste to the pile, that could explain why the pineapple field was there. Hey, you guys going to check out a large compost pile? <laughs> can, oh, I go, can I go? Can I go? Dude, you're gonna find a body in that? Oh, Tim Peck and Clay Ainsley, a couple of our local farmers. I only just heard what happened to him. I dated his daughter all through high school. Gavin introduced us. Mr. Curtis was a great man. Oh, huh. you disagree. Now, Frank Curtis was in it for the money. Have you ever been to his house? 4,000 square feet? Brand new everything? But there's air conditioner on all the time. That lot, that man cared about the environment. You can get a warrant if you want. I do. I mean, <laughs> makes sense. It's too early in the morning for this. No, 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 this is good. Let's talk about conflict. When you guys argue, how do you come to a resolution? We don't argue. That was a discussion. You pretty much told me <laughs> my penis was going to shrink if I didn't eat organic food. But that's not bickering. That's being a good friend. My penis is just fine, thank you. And I think we're in that truth zone. Stop with the whole truth zone <laughs> thing, all right? Those are trying to catch a guy who cooked a tree hugger. So just score the personality test so we can get back to crime play. You can't be whole, you can't do your job to its fullest unless you get in touch with that fear. Now, Dr. Brennan and I are going to close our eyes. <laughs> Follow the anger. All right, feel it. Feel it softening. You feel that? Very mature, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta run, sweets. Got the call. Next time you really should tell me there's going to be an essay on the test. <laughs> That's I just got off the phone with Hodgins. He's That's in a conference. Funny. He must be happy. Happy as a pig in what pigs like to be in. A sty. You said you had things to show me? He wasn't shot. I thought you said it was a bulldog. I was mistaken. It occasionally happens. The whole is actually a congenital <laughs> abnormality. It happens. <laughs> a sternal He was stamped? By what? I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, then. I love Enjoy. him so much. <laughs> so great. God, I'm never going to get over that smell. Whoa, oh. I just heard a crunch. Definitely not plant life. I'd love to try this feeding fun guy. Female, probably in her early 20s. She's been dead about the same time as Curtis. Oh my god. Who could that be? We're not missing yeah, anybody well, else. She's been in there since last Wednesday. You mean she died the day before, Frank? Who catches two people cheating but kills them a day apart? Well, maybe no one's missed her yet. Poor thing. Everybody should be missed. Oh, you are such an angel. I will get a bucket of cold water, I swear. These injuries are consistent with inexpert use of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Somebody tried to save her. What? I accepted his faults. I'm sure you'll accept the life insurance money too. I'm not even thinking about money, Agent Booth. How can you even... My husband hasn't even been dead for a week. Why didn't you mention that in our first conversation? Cat. I couldn't her. do that to our daughter. No, Charlie, it's okay. Stay. Mom, I knew. I pretended that I didn't. I <laughs> knew. <For> you. <sighs> Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Maybe it was Frank's take on being environmentally friendly, making a friendly environment. Apparently <laughs> <Get it? laughs> not. Oh. His sunglass frames are made of bamboo. Was that weird? Oh, most oh. frames are made of metal or plastic. I thought that was vinyl. someone else's. <laughs> Maybe it belonged to the That's why she picked it up. Ninja. Dry blood on the coffee table. Uh oh. Forensics and have the place. Yeah. Here we go. Take a receipt from uh, two weeks ago. Hop Lee's Chinese Kitchen. Name the credit card Emma Billings. Who's? That's not her. I think we found our second yeah. victim. If she fell Whoa. and hit her head on the coffee table at this angle. That could account for the broken vertebrae. It's a statistically rare Damn. possibility, but one that would have killed her instantly. She was a cashier at one of Franklin Curtis's natural sun markets in New Jersey. How did she end up in Virginia? They think she was hiding. Earlier this year, she accused one of her co-workers of stalking her. 
Check him out. It appears to have been accidental. That would explain the CPR. But Frank was huh. stabbed multiple times. Yeah, so it's like... Right. not so accidental. It's like someone blamed it on him. Hey, Booth. Booth found Emma Stalker. He's been staying in a motel right across the street from where Emma was killed. Oh my god. I didn't break any laws. I mean, I followed her, okay? But the motel room is over 150 feet from Emma's apartment building. I measured. And I guess I got no reason to suspect you. I mean, you were just keeping an eye on her. Frank Curtis. Oh, Frank Curtis. Frank Curtis. He's the one. You should talk to him. The reflections on this table. Patterns are beautiful. No. Focus. <laughs> Frank Curtis. Oh, sure. Frank comes in for one of his regional visits, you know, and has the manager hire Emma. The fact that you called her 20 times a day and slept in her driveway, that had nothing to do with it. Yeah, that had nothing to do with the... the, the oh my god, dude. <laughs> Where were you last Wednesday and Thursday? Mostly I just stay in my motel room. That's not low. Your products. What well, products? Oil-based body products. I reviewed the forensic samples from the apartment. Who said the person stalking Emma Billing sells hemp-based body products? Yeah, that's one possibility. We'll re-examine any clothing from Frank and Emma's body. He's the most likely at the moment. Okay. It fits, but Dr. Brennan, it's never him. I need you to see something. Like, it's never those guys. Fraction to Emma's sternum concealed a malformation. Where it makes sense that, like, he did it. Construction. Our victims were related. If our murderer thought he killed Emma and her lover, he was very wrong. It was he Emma and her. her. Ah! See, now... Okay, this will help you visualize the pattern of the room. I don't know. I feel like the mom could, this is but she was out of town. Murder. I'm sure he'll apologize. And she knew about it, and she there was fine with it. There are five puncture wounds to Frank's chest. So, like, that would make sense. Repeated stabs by an unknown and very frustrating object. What about a hate? A, a hate? Fork. Yeah. A pitchfork. These three wounds mark the termination of a three-time pitchfork's penetration. Mm. Makes sense. I found a high concentration of methanol and sodium hydroxide mixed in. So the oil isn't from body products. No, it's from biodiesel fuel. Man. I think it's pointing more at the. It's one of those guys at the. Uh, you know, I've never really found stone guys that dependable. Except for cookies. You know, I feel like they're gonna make it be the the kid. Wait for more information. The ex. Somebody in the compost facility. They have pitchforks to turn heaps, don't they? Pitchforks. Yeah. Sorry, but whose side are you on here? Well, don't, don't say the facts, because that just annoys me. You want us to base our actions on your gut again? Is it always like this when you two are together? Yes. No. It's kind of hot. What the hell is he doing? It's a Vedic jam. He's an artist. Cool. <laughs> Cool. Do you see a truck? If you do not cooperate, you're looking at 20 solid years keeping tabs on your cellmate. <laughs> All right, fine. A cool logo from some organic composting place. Yeah, yeah. All right. We, we, we already got that down. My question: is, There's three suspects. Vision or something? The guy who was pissed off, which, so which is too obvious. Kid, so and I'm looking at the the X of her. The ex boyfriend. I'll crush you like a bug, dude. And the he's a young dude, maybe 26, at my height. Yeah, average. I think it's the ex. I'm kind of buff. He's wearing sunglasses. Kind of look like they're made out of wood or something. Far out, huh? <laughs> wood. <laughs> Cute ears. Can you think of any reason why Charlie would want Frank dead? Of course not. God, no. This isn't what you think. Gavin, I didn't. I swear, I, I did For a female. What is it? Son of a bitch! What? He was there. Like what? Before, there was a 25% It's the daughter! daughter. It was Kat Curtis. What? She killed Emma. So you went to Emma. So you killed him. I never meant to hurt her. I just, I wanted my dad to end things. It just looked like she bumped her head. That she was dead. I knew she he never helped. Hurt. It was an accident. You told Cad you'd get rid of Emma's body. He came at me, man. One night at work. Frank went nuts. And then you killed him. Why'd you move Frank's body? For my mom. For the insurance. Of course, no payout without a body. So I tossed him where we knew he'd be found. 
I got it half right. Your father wasn't having an affair with Emma. She was your half sister. What? Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No, I can't do it. That's wow. So, case finished? Yes. Congratulations. That's insane. It's not at all scientific, so back off. Just trying to help? What, by questioning his humanity? Oh, he's oh, like going a little bit overboard. He's just a kid. Right? I mean, the worst thing that's probably ever happened to him was he lost at Mortal Kombat. Are you normally this protective of him, Dr. Brennan? We are partners. Our lives depend on each being other. protective of each other. Compliment, not compliment. <laughs> It, he means that we complete each other as a team. Yeah, right. Now, we've got a lot to work on over the next few months. <laughs> we get to stay together? Yes, I'm sensing a but. However, same as a but. I have observed <laughs> some underlying issues that need to be addressed. There's clearly a very deep emotional attachment between you two. We're just partners and uh why do you think i would have thought otherwise because you're 12. <laughs> anything the booth said if there were no more murders i would probably not even you know see her it's very true might have coffee probably not what what you wouldn't even have coffee with me well, in your scenario each other because there are no murders were i said no more murders then fine I mean, we could have coffee yeah let's move on <laughs> It's slowly unfolding. We all know what's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. That was such a... like, unfortunate episode. <laughs> it was like all of that could have been easily avoided. Easily. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. Can't. It's not the same. Damn it. Damn it. See? What the? <laughs> See y'all next time.